Good morning everyone and welcome to Our Small Footprint. My name is Nissa, and if you're new here we are a family of eight who live off-grid in Australia. Now today's video is my six weekly grocery shop. So I go and do a six weekly grocery shop uh, in Brisbane. It's about three and a half hours away. I spend the night at my mum's place and I do it over two days because I have any medical appointments while I'm down there as well as doing fruit and veg, butcher, Costco, Aldi, Coles, Kmart, Bunnings, anything that needs to be done at the time. So that was my most recent trip. Uh, it was the last trip before Christmas, so it was a sort of a complicated trip. I had to try and make sure I got the rest of any sort of Christmas requirements for food and the kids and things like that, but also to uh, get us through. So I have a neurology appointment in February of next year, uh, which is eight weeks away. So I'm going to try and drag this shop out to last that eight weeks. We might have to go into Toowoomba at some point, but hopefully we can get most of the way through. Now, the other thing is that because of food pricing and things like that, uh, we've run short on a lot of our stockpile stuff. So what I've realized through this month is that we're using the stockpile as well as the stuff I'm buying each month. So this month needed to be a fairly significant sort of a stock up as well because there is no like I don't have any meat left in jars on the shelf I don't have any meat left in the freezer or very very little some mints maybe um really really low on backup foods so I had to buy extras of a lot of things because of that so it's a big shop I haven't added up the totals yet I will I might tell you tomorrow when I do my homestead chat when I go on about the rest of that sort of sort of thing so uh, I'll get all the totals done for for next for the next video uh, but the other thing that happened was on the drive home so it was about an hour and a half from home and I pulled into a service station if you follow me on Instagram you would have seen the story I pulled into a service station to get a bottle of water because I had run out of water and it's always nice to get up and walk so I've driven like two and a half hours it's nice to get up and walk before that last stretch and I went into the servo, got my water, came back out to the car. And when I turned the car on, the car was in park and the gear stick wouldn't work. So it's stuck in park. The gear stick is just sliding. It's an automatic, just sliding backwards and forwards and not catching, not picking up anything, not changing. Uh, I do have roadside assistance with my insurance. So I called roadside assistance. They said they were going to be an hour. And then I got updated later that it was going to be another hour and a half as well. Uh, the guy who spoke to me gave me a few tips to try um, and I asked a gentleman at the servo to assist me with one of those things because we were checking fuses so I needed someone to stand behind the car and check if my brake lights were working so that I could assess whether we had blown any fuses. Uh, the gentleman happened to be a mechanic which was just very lucky and willing to give me a hand on a Friday night in the middle of nowhere which was wonderful. So uh, he got under the car for me to check the transmission cable because that was uh, an issue that could, it could have been, but I didn't know where the transmission cable uh, ended. Like I, I wasn't really sure where it went in. So it was sort of hard for me to be able to check that. Uh, and then that seemed fine. So he troubleshooted and it turns out it was the cable that connects the gear stick to the transmission that the bushing had broken, which connects it to the cable that allows the gear stick to change the gears. Uh, we managed to jury rig a solution, put a zip tie around it and got it going so that I could get home. And now we have to assess what I have to do to fix it. Uh, but I am very grateful. And you know, I didn't even get his name. I thanked him profusely and all the rest of it, but I didn't even get his name. So thank you very, very much, anonymous person at the United Southbrook who gave me a hand if anyone happens to watch this and knows who it might have been. Uh, so thank you very much for that. I got home. It was late though. So I still filmed all the groceries, but I didn't get to do this uh, start to the video or anything like that. So everything's running a bit late today. Uh, and I don't know whether I've covered everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this in, put this in front of the video, edit the video food up. And then tomorrow when I do my weekly chat and catch up, I will cover anything that I haven't covered. All right. <laughs> so tune in tomorrow if there's anything that you're missing. Or if you ask any questions on today's, then I will answer them in tomorrow's video. Uh, so feel free to ask anything. You can ask anything you want. As per usual, tomorrow's video is very much just a chat and catch up. So anything that you want to ask on today's video, feel free and I'll answer it tomorrow when I do that. So I'm going to leave it there and hope that I've covered enough and I will come back 
tomorrow and answer any questions. And I'm going to go and get some stuff done with all this food that's here. So thanks guys for tuning in and thank you very much for all the support on my Instagram yesterday when I was posting that I was stuck in the middle of no way. Uh, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Thanks guys. Alrighty, so we ended up with 12 jars of the pesto that we like. I got a dozen of the uh, spiral dried pasta, a box of the rice crackers, which is 16 of them, three lots of rice bubbles, three lots of cornflakes, four lots of wheat bix. I got 18 rice milks because that's all I could fit. Daryl has to go for a medical appointment to Toowoomba on Sunday, so he will probably do a quick Aldi drop-in to, to just grab a few more rice milks there. I got a six-pack of the large tuna we use this for tuna bake, a couple of bags of rice noodles for rice paper rolls, a one of our favourite gravies that we really shouldn't eat, but we do, four of the blueberry jams that they like from Aldi that I really like the jars, some sun-dried tomato pesto for a couple of different recipes that I'm going to try, and just some tomato paste to put on the shelf, four of the honeys that we buy, four dish detergents, a box of ghee. It's because of the price increase with ghee, we had trying to reduce our usage, so I'm only buying one box per grocery trip. I got 24 of the coconut cream that we like and 24 of the tin corn, a big tub of the garlic, uh, a maple syrup. I bought surreal some dry shampoo to try. Uh, now, the flybys had a promotion going that was spend $50 a week for four weeks and you get uh, $50 worth of flyby points. So I've been sending some half price specials to mum's place over the last four weeks so that I could get each week's $50 spend. And these Ardmona tins were a special one of the weeks. So these are normally really expensive and they were, I wanna say like $1.75, which is still more expensive than the Aldi ones, but these are a really thick tin tomato. So I grabbed some of them as a bit of a treat, I suppose. I grabbed coffee. Now there's a second one of these somewhere. These were on special at Costco for, I think it was $1.60 per 100, which is a pretty good price and we don't mind this coffee. Uh, these uh, rechargeable batteries were half price as well. So I got the charger and two packs of the batteries for half price. I grabbed some more rice paper rolls and some corn tortillas because we intend to do some birria tacos at some point. These coconut milk were also on special. This brand I see mentioned a lot in a lot of American YouTube and I haven't tried it before, so I wanted to try it. It was $5 for a litre, which isn't too bad. So I wanted to give it a go. Then we bought our normal coconut milk that we normally buy from Costco for our coffee and stuff. And there's three boxes of those. I grabbed an ABC sauce. I grabbed some, this Valcom green curry paste. It's our preferred green curry paste. I can make curry paste myself, but I just don't always have access to all the ingredients. So we really like this brand. So it was on sale and I grabbed it. Some bacon seasoning again was on sale. So I grabbed a few of them. Anchovies for Daryl. He uses them on his pizza and stuff. These had an extra 150 flybys points per packet that you bought. So I grabbed four of those. They will last us ages. And I grabbed some sun-dried tomatoes for those recipes that I'm looking at trying. I grabbed us some of our cheap scourers that we buy. Peanut butter, there is a second one of these somewhere too. Uh, I bought two different cranberry juices, a sorry, a blueberry juice and a cranberry mango juice. I use these to make jelly for trifle with fruit in it. So these were on special as well and there was a different, that blueberry one sounded really nice. So I decided to give that a go. I grabbed a big soy sauce bottle and I grabbed myself some of my sort of luxury shampoo and conditioner. I haven't bought this for a while, but my hair is sort of crying out for something nice. So I grabbed that and there is two bags of these potatoes somewhere too, these washed potatoes from Costco. There's also two big bags of tortilla rounds there and there's a dozen dried spaghetti in behind there too. Also a four by four litre pack of white vinegar and I bought this little 
pool here for the kids. This was only $65 at Costco. We regularly do one of the ones from um, Kmart that you have to have a filter and, and chlorine and stuff in, and we decided not to do it this year. This one only holds 990 litres of water, which is one IBC full. So I thought as a treat for Christmas Day, maybe another time we can just fill it up with water and once it goes bad, we just use it on the garden. In the way of fruit and veg, I bought a box of bananas. These weren't particularly cheap, but I buy bananas pretty much every month, no matter what. Uh, I got four I got four boxes of these mangoes. Some of them are a little marked up and that's fine, uh, but there's four big boxes of these very large, very, very nice smelling mangoes. So we'll add more to the freezer and eat some fresh. I got two boxes of apples. So there's two boxes there and there's two layers in each box. I also grabbed some oranges. These were, I think it was just a $10 box. They were just, they're a little bit, you know, not perfect looking. We, my kids don't care. So a box of oranges, a box of tomatoes, seems we don't have any in the garden. And then there's a 20 kilo box of carrots in the background as well. Uh, we don't have any soups or anything on the shelf so the plan is to get some of that done so i need some veggies for that purpose and a box of these really lovely fresh black dirt potatoes as well uh, i can't use them for canning because i would never get them clean enough unless i peeled them so that's what the washed ones are for but these ones will be really nice to eat i also grabbed two of the big toilet papers all right next load off the car i got our tortillas that i always buy these are a really good price there's three packs of 12 for eight dollars thirty so they're just really good to have in a bucket so when i need the kids to be able to just get themselves something quick they can have wraps for lunch i got the economy bacon it is uh, 6.99 at the butcher for this economy bacon it's always in weird and wonderful pieces and each pack is different but that's fine it's it still tastes like bacon I got some of the frozen surimi for seafood salad because we always make a seafood salad at Christmas. We should really make it more often than just Christmas, but anyway, I tend to make it at Christmas. I had They had a kilo of ginger for $3.99, so I grabbed an extra kilo of that, and I got this tray of blueberries for, I think they were $1.50 a punnet, so not overly cheap, but cheap enough to buy for the kids. A bag of sultanas because they adore sultanas and a bottle of LMP. This is for Daryl. This is a kiwi soft drink that he really enjoys so I'm not going to try and say it but I bought it for him to have. I bought two big celeries because I use celery in the seafood salad and things like that uh, as well as stock and that. It's two little bundles of bok choy because they just pak choy a choy uh, because they were really cheap and i really like these stir fried and two bags of the baby broccoli from costco two of the bags of hot dog sausages though we won't be having hot dogs tonight obviously because i got home so late because of all the issues but we'll have them tomorrow some lettuce to have with hamburgers though i had just realized i forgot to buy hamburger buns but i cannot make them uh baby Cucumbers were on special, $6.99 I think, so I bought them for the kids. Two two litre, uh, sorry, two three litre milks are there because we don't have any at the moment and we use that for our milk keeper. Some frozen blueberries and frozen blueberries with kiwi fruit. Uh, these were the two cheapest frozen fruits, so I grabbed those. I got some lard from the butcher. I wanted a box, but they didn't have them. They only had this amount and to be honest, it's not really much point in processing just this amount. It's a lot of work for not a lot of gain so I will probably freeze that until I get some more the frozen roadies that Daryl and I really like with our dal some sliced ham for to go in the fridge for the kids this was all they had on the shelf at Costco so that's what we got we got four trays of the chicken thighs these have changed price slightly 1069 they used to be 1099 I want to say or no 999 maybe maybe $9.99 and the chicken breast for $8.99. I'd have to check my paper. I'm confusing myself. So the pricing has changed on both of these slightly. Uh, so chicken thighs and chicken breast got four of each of those packages. 
I bought myself some cheese, <laughs> uh, just a little bit of a treat. This one was at the butcher for $2.99, so I'm gonna give that a go. And then a couple of cheeses that I tasty that I like for my mac and cheese. And this Mexican cheese was on special at Kirkland's, uh, special at Costco as well, the Kirkland brand. I think it was like $4 off or something, so I grabbed that. I grabbed some short ribs because they were on special for $12.99 a kilo and we really liked these. They had a whole boneless chuck at $14.99 a kilo. So I grabbed that for a myriad of different things. Uh, I grabbed a pork belly as well. And then I grabbed four of my pork roasts that I always buy. So these are $7.99 a kilo and they're all around about the five and a half kilo mark. So I bought four of those. I also bought some pepperoni for pizzas, some ketchup, because I buy that once a month and then when it's gone, it's gone because we all really like it. I uh, got two of the mints, so they're $9.99 a kilo and they're around about 4.8 kilo packs, the two that I got. They're whole hams. The hams at Costco are really nice, the ham on the bone, and they had a special today, the whole hams. If you bought a whole one was $20 off, if you bought a half it was $10 off. So I decided that I would grab a whole one. So it worked out. So it's $8.99 a kilo, it's 10 kilos, and it's $20 off. So it dropped it to about $6.99 a kilo mark, which is really, really well priced for a really nice ham. I got two packs of puff pastry because I'm completely out. I got some honey from Costco that was really well priced. It was, I want to say 94 cents per hundred or something, which is a really, really cheap for honey. Uh, and it's Australian honey and it looks really nice. So I grabbed those. I grabbed some oyster sauce, some apple cider vinegar and a big drumhead cabbage just for us to eat over the next week. So with stir fry or okonomiyaki or something like that. So that was the next load let me get this cleared away and get the next lot up all right and the last lot i got some wipes for orpheus this olive oil we've discussed the price of this olive oil before so it was up to 52.99 for two of them last month this month it was 49.89 for the two but then it had five dollar off voucher so i don't know how that works but anyway so i grabbed four of those two lots of two of those with the discount. Grab some sugar for the, what well, we're doing the cowboy candy and stuff, so it's gonna need some sugar for that. Uh, just one baker's flour. We already have a tub and a bit full at the moment, and they didn't have the large plain flour, so just two of the small plain flour. It is the same price per kilo anyway at Costco. Uh, and then the, the hot dog buns for the, you know, nightly hot dogs, except that we're not having hot dogs because it's too late, but hot dog buns. And that was everything.